All right. I want to try... I feel like that helped a little bit. But like, I don't know. Uh, additional reduction on enemy poise. That could help stagger him. Let's try that. Not fat rolling, which is good. Let's try that. If I can get him into a stagger, which I have not been able to, not even once yet, that could be nice. RNG. Yeah. It is RNG, probably. And if I could do anything to help that, that'd be nice. The staggering him would give me more opportunity to attack him. Jeez. What the hell? I'm not even sure what just happened there. That was like flawless, and then those guys came out of nowhere from behind. And we're dead. No one is following the pattern anymore, and I don't know why. I don't know if you saw that. That second guy behind this pillar paused before attacking me. The guys behind me chased after me and came at me with an extra attack that they don't normally do. <laughs> I hate I hate this boss so freaking <laughs> The only good thing about this boss is he doesn't have a ridiculous amount of health. That's the only good thing. Because we are not hitting him for a lot. There really aren't. But we're able to get him to 50% health with just a few hits because of the fact that his health pool isn't enormous. But keep in mind that we're still only hitting number 300. That's abysmal compared to all the other bosses we can find. Come on, dude. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I don't even know what just happened there, man. They're doing completely different moves than before. Supposed to run up to me and try and stab me, not freaking take swings at me. Like, what is this? I'm gonna drink again, get that to full health. Why is he starting with that? He never started that with that before. Now he's doing it like, jeez, that still hit me? Oh my god. Uh, I'm probably dead, right? Uh. Yeah, now I'm hit. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. I had no stamina. No stamina. Okay. 
God damn, that still hit me. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh my god. No. Okay. Too early. Alright, we're safe back here. Where the hell did that move come from? Where the hell did that come from? What? What? He like evolved or something? <laughs> oh god. There we go. Now you're gonna start being cheap. It's been a good duel, and now you're gonna be cheap to me. What the hell, man? <laughs> Okay, we're fine. Okay, we're fine. No, come on, man. That's three attacks, one after the other. Breathe a little, man. Oh my god. I couldn't even move. I couldn't even move, man. That was like five attacks non-stop. <laughs> like, holy cow. Could you get any cheaper, Olive? <laughs> I hate this boss. <laughs> you know what the worst part about it is? I'm gonna freaking struggle with this guy when I finally beat him. When I finally beat him, I'm gonna go and face the last three bosses. I'm gonna first try him. Watch. <laughs> Just because of this guy. <laughs> I think Red Boss has a rare attack. Yeah, well, it wasn't so rare when he popped it off twice in a row. <laughs> it's just like random moveset out of nowhere. Over here. Nope. Nope. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my god. The BS is real. That's right. What just hit me? I didn't even see an arrow flying at me. What the hell? That's cool. That's cool. No, this is fine. This is fine. We're okay. Oh yeah, we're, we're fine. We're okay. This is perfectly fine. Oh god, come on man. Come on! God, he went from one attack to another! I, I, what? <laughs> oh my god, there's literally nothing I could have done there. He literally went from one attack to another. This poise ring is useless too. Like, pointless. Hmm. 
Honestly, I think that's the best thing we can do. More healing. Probably the best thing we can do, even though the healing is so minimal. And if not that, then I guess endurance. Tried all the other rings. And uh, the physical ring, 100 plus physical against him is so minimal, it's not even worth putting on. Very nice. Okay, good. That went our way for one. See if we could do this here again. Come on, man. Oh my god. Somehow dodge that. I should have saw that coming. Oh my god, come on, Arn! Now you're just. Mm, mm, mm. Now, now it's just getting stupid. Now it's just getting ridiculous. At first it was like, god damn, really? Now it's just getting really, really stupid. It's like, yo, non stop, man. Did you breathe? Just a little bit. Like, it's bad enough he hits hard. It's bad enough that his reach is insane. Bad enough that he attacks very quickly. They really have to make it so that, like, he has no consistency as far as in between attacks. They really have to do that. They really have to make it so that, like, every now and then. He's gonna do an attack immediately after another, and that's all RNG, so he could do like five attacks in succession, if not more. Like, they really needed to do that. That just sounds cheap to me. Because the second you even try to go for the heal, you're screwed. I wasn't paying attention. I'm over here salting and raging. Okay, not bad. I'll take it. after. Come on, man. Not oh, cool, man. Immediately after. Look at that. Immediately after. <laughs> Another one. Oh my god, dude. That's that's at least six immediate attacks, dude. What the hell? I'm gonna die now. Oh, thank you. You stopped after seven. <laughs> nice, nice of you to stop after seven consecutive attacks. I have to trap him here so I can heal. Because he's not giving me a chance to, like, heal. 
I can't even like. <sighs> I hate this boss mode. There are soul vessels on Momo. It's not gonna matter. What am I gonna change? It's not gonna give me more attack. My dodging frames isn't a problem. I have plenty of dodging frames. My problem is that I can't heal. There's not there is no stat to make you drink faster. There is no ring to make you drink. And that's where the problem is. The fact that he attacks so quickly that I can't heal is the reason why I can't fight him. So now I'm trying to resort to that little and it's going to take us a few tries. If I can master getting him stuck on that wall, I'll have time to heal and not worry about him hitting me. That's the wrong character. I mean, I'm not going to deny that. I was using a heavy armor, physical weapon. Oh my god. character this would be significantly easier how's it going Karen by the way coming into my rage fest <laughs> Somehow missed that one, but that's fine. He's gonna go into attack immediately. Damn it! I knew he was gonna do that. I'm dead, aren't I? Do it, man! I can't even. <sighs> I can't. I, like, I can't drink. I literally cannot drink between his attacks. I'll come back when it becomes normal. All good. <laughs> Sorry about your internet, twin. Yeah, we have to work on getting him stuck on that wall. I hate to do that, but it's the only way we're going to be able to heal. The way it is, it's like there's just no point in trying to heal between his attacks. Because at random, he just randomly attacks me and I can't dodge. Because I'm still drinking. And I really can't do that faster, guys. I really can't dodge his attack and drink any faster than I'm doing. Cries if they saw him. Meow's killed me. <laughs> Yeah, this, this meow is extremely salty right now. If I could sell salt, I'd be rich right now. <laughs> Alright, let's try this. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? Oh, the, oh my god, holy shit. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my ish. <laughs> like, <laughs> we did flawlessly on the first row, and then we got to that guy and all went to hell. Alright, there's something I want to check real quick. It might matter, it might not matter, but it's just a thought. <sighs> Let's see here. What the hell? Uh, that's nice, but why are you doing this to me right now? <laughs> I want to see what this looks like. I'm checking something out for our final armor set. 
That's pretty significant. Alright, I'm gonna come back to this guy. I'm gonna come back to this guy because I thought of a strategy that could help. Uh, which is fine. We can go do other things. If Salty <laughs> could me harvest them, half of the DS community would watch would me rich and slave them. Yeah, I know. He's easily the hardest. Like, I haven't played Dark Souls 3, but Alan, right now, between Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2, is the hardest boss between the two games. Easily the hardest boss between the two. Uh, I think I went to the wrong bonfire. Yeah, I think we went to the wrong bonfire. Um. Oh, actually, you know what we can do? I forgot. We have all the crowns. We already killed the Foom Knight. The Foom Knight was protecting the crown. So we have all the crowns, so we can go finish Venric's quest line. Which is. Somewhere. Yeah, we can go do this. And then from here, we'll go do the other thing I want. It's kind of funny, we're at a point in the game where the only thing left for us to do is kill bosses. That's it. There's nothing left for us to do. Kill Sir Allen and kill the throne bosses. That's it. There's nothing left. We've done everything else. It has the best and worst boss in the whole franchise. <laughs> That's fantastic. Can't wait. <laughs> See, this is why... This is exactly why... In between each Dark Souls game, I have decided to play a different game. And not do all three in succession. Because, holy cow, can you imagine how angry I would be? <laughs> if I had played Dark Souls 1 after Dark Souls 2 and then went from this game to Dark Souls 3. Holy cow, can you imagine? <laughs> I probably would have broken my computer by now. Alright, so we have all the crowns. We're going to get this blessed and get Enric's blessing. Seeker of fire. I see you've subdued another foul creature. One of the father of the abyss spawn. That confounded quintessence of humanity. The abyss once had form, but then dissipated. And yet, traces of its existence endured. Each fragment, thirsting for power, spread dark with no relent. My dear Chandra was one such fragment. A feeble, tiny thing that thirsted wow. for power more than any other. So he knew his wife was a and daughter of Manus. A lust for a worthy vessel. Oh wow, I had no clue. So Benric knew that she was a daughter of Manus. One day fire will fade and dark will become a curse. Men will be free from death, left to wander eternally. Dark will again be ours, and in our true shape, we can bury the false legends of yore. Only, is this our only choice? Seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. Seek strength. And thus, blesses the crown. This was the fruits of his his attempts to break the cycle. He was able to lift the curse as long as you wear the crown. Will follow. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to lift the curse entirely, only to that degree. Mm. 
and then we're done with that. So now, his crown. And King Fendrick. What makes a king? Some say it's a birthright, but perhaps it is not important as long as the king's name serves. Right, the people. Oh, wow. It doesn't lift the curse for us because we, we can't bear the crown. We don't have the proper stats. If we had more strength, then we could. It would block the curse. But until then, it's just a crown. So, that's done. Now... You go do a couple of other quest lines, which is yeah here. Stubborn, dude. Okay. We're not ruining the king's ring, but I guess I remember that we already opened this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that other thing on. No. Where is it? that on now here's what we're gonna do this path if any of you guys remember Dark Souls 1 there was two choices we didn't do we, we rekindled the flame had you chosen to not rekindle the flame, you would have walked down this path and let the Age of Darkness come. Or all the serpent hit. That's what this path is. Basically, where we're going is where the Kellen of the first flame is. Same place where we fought win this game. significantly weaker by attacks. Dagger! Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice at all. But there you go. Oh, that would have been bad. That's one! I have a drink real quick. Look at what a joke this is compared to Sir <laughs> What a freaking joke! <laughs> Didn't I say I was gonna first try this after dealing with Sir Allen? Didn't I say that? <laughs> Alright, and now we're gonna get out of here before we start the next boss fight. Now we did that for two reasons. One, because we just finished the quest line by doing that. And two, 
to get our armor. The gear that we're going to be using for Sir Alan, I mean for Sir Alan, well, actually we're going to be using it for Sir Alan, and actually for our build, it's the proper tire I wanted to use for the final build of this playthrough, but unfortunately we couldn't get it until we killed those was this. Um, care to look over my wares? I upgraded my stock recently. Yeah, I know. So the boss. And that is with... Uh... Right here. And let's do that. Thanks for the purchase. Do come again. We are going to be using this song. Wherever it is. Where the hell did it go? Uh huh. Am I blind, guys? Do I need a blind emote? I think I need a blind emo. Where is it? That's Apple. Got it. What the fluff, man? Where is that ish? <laughs> ah, there it is. No, that's not it. It looks just like it, though. Oh my god, I'm so freaking blind. <laughs> Holy cow. And... There we go. Don't defend their legs. This... will be our final build. The closest I could come to that. <laughs> Tell me that's not epic overlordness. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now we gotta level this up. Well, not level up, but upgrade it. Now the one problem is, that's what I thought. You weigh a lot more now. We're fat rolling. I knew you'd be around. Oh. Should we get rid of the laggings? Maybe the laggings is too much. Maybe we should get rid of the laggings. Maybe the laggings too much. Let's do what we had before. that or do we go back to the pants the other pants from the fender pants I feel like the throne the fender pants are a little bit too much I feel like it's too much I feel like that seems a little bit more proper Fat roll enough. Do it. Uh, all right, let's reinforce this. Now, I'll that should down. a tremendous amount of work for our dot, our damage. Bearer, the only thing is like. The only thing now is we have to do some letters. Alright, it's time to pop all these.
We need to do something about our endurance. That they, we're not fat rolling. Huh. I, who knew that the Fuke Knight had a corrupted soul? I never would have guessed. Go to the Throne Watchers. Huh. I never would have guessed. We have a lot of great souls too. <laughs> I just noticed that. Giant Lord. Oh. Balstead. Oh, Balstead was corrupted too. Okay. Balstead was corrupted by the dark as well. Now we haven't got her full soul. That be that's only a fragment. Get the last one, it'll become whole. I didn't get anything for that. Really? There until. Uh. Guess we need vitality. Where do I see my weight? My equipment load, but how much do I weigh right now? Ah, that's in the trick. Got our normal rolls back. Alright. Before we leave, I almost forgot. I was about to go just jump in and fight Brawlin because I despise him with a passion. But. First, let's do this stuff. Let's do all these side quests, and then all that's left is boss fight. Very good idea. I believe we finished the map, killed all the ones that needed to be killed in order to light up the flames here. It should now be complete. It seems that all the flames have been lit. It makes me feel somehow. Wait, what am I doing here? Who are you again? Fate brought us together for a reason. Take these, and may they help you on your travels. And there you go. He gave us his gear. It seems that all the flames. It makes me. Now that's a quest line that most people probably don't do, because you guys remember we had to kill the Throne Watchers to fill up that map. And most people probably, because the Throne Watchers, you then get two more bosses and that's the end of the game. Most people probably don't even bother with that quest because you're basically at the end of the game. It's over. <laughs> now we did it because I've never done it before and I wanted to do all the next quests. Also, I'm kind of curious if down here changed. Anything down here changed? Right? all still the same. Yep. Nice. So now that we're done here, with this, we got the helmet, you guys remember. 
and there was a specific somebody who wanted us to kill him to get his helmet. Now we're gonna go see him. Uh, that was an obvious here. Now we're going to show him the helmet. He's going to give us a reward for it. Now, Falcon was the guy that gave us the Hex and, and the staff we're currently using right now. I forget yes. what he wants from us. He wants the staff. We actually have the staff. Ready. But he will be formidable. Be cautious. So, there you go. Well, you can do all these quests without actually killing these people. This is my thanks. Take it. One second, guys, I gotta call. Now let's discuss something of importance. We already have the feather. Yes. That's the feather. Good. Oh, that is very good. Your reward. Take it. <laughs> Unleash your magic. What do you require? Then he just becomes a merchant. You've been good to me. Go on. Tell me what you need. Well, as you wish. You're saying a God forbidden son. 
That spell, what? It's very powerful? Is there a pyromancy? So, let's see here. Forbidden Sun. Pyromancy. And the other one he gave us was Unleash Magic? At a great cost of HP, the terrible deed carries out Anya's that's an unintentional birth of several shadowy things. I hate that you have to use chimes. Which also, by the way, make no sense for dark magic. Why would you use chimes? Aren't chimes supposed to be like a holy weapon? I could have sworn chimes were supposed to be like a holy weapon. This kind of makes no sense to me. <laughs> and we're done. This quest line is done. We've literally done all the NPCs' quest lines. They're finito. <laughs> I never got to do that, so I'm kind of happy about that. Now... I'm gonna go suffer some more. <sighs> and by suffer some more, I'm sure you guys can guess what I mean. I'm sure you guys can guess what I mean. Now we have a significant amount of more people. Our chest armor is a hundred percent, hundred more than what it was before. To add to that, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Which overweight? I'm not gonna do that no. I take it like that. And when we, after we die here, go back. Go back to Majula. We're going to get some more endurance so I can use the ring of steel protection. It should give us 100 more armor. Okay, we're gonna go back to Majula. It's all good. It's all good. I don't. <laughs> And the idea is to try to get our physical defense as high as possible so we can survive more than two columns. Kind of damn cheap thing. The attacks so freaking quick and tricky. Do we need to level up? Seven. All right. Let's pop. And I didn't want to pop them. We pop these. Fifty. I don't know if one level is going to be enough. There until. That might be enough. I think that's good. We got a normal roll, and we increased our defense by 200 now from the last time we faced. I think that's going to help us tremendously. I can only hope. If that means that it'll take one more hit for him to kill us than what it took before, that's a mission accomplished. I love our look, man. <laughs> I love the look. It looks great. It looks so good. <laughs> I wish I could be a little bit more accurate, but that's probably the best I can do right now with 
What's in this game? so good everything's going our way oh my god I don't know what's happening right now but we're somehow doing this <laughs> we just you seem bolt past them <laughs> I hate that I can't get him I can't even that's actually a huge difference of damage from what he was doing before Oh my god. Okay, I won't cheese you. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, get out of here with that. Don't you dare. That's so bad. Oh my god. so much. <laughs> oh.
Why does he have to be such a nightmare to dodge? Illusion? You know what? Fuck all you freaking trolls. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. We got the last smelter wedge, which is exactly what we needed to get the last soul of Naldalia, the last daughter of uh, Nanus. And if you remember, that daughter is all the way in the beginning of this DLC. Chose not to kill her because there was no need for this exact purpose. Now, that's very important that you don't kill that first one. First of all, there's no mobs there. There's no reason to fight her or to even kill her. So you can just run right past her, and that's the best thing to do because they don't give you enough smelter wit for the entire DLC. They save that last smelter witch all the way to the end of the entire DLC. So if you do the mistake of killing every single one of these things, when you get to the fume boom night, you're gonna screw up and you're gonna leave one of these guys alive. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna cause the boom night to heal during your boss fight. And don't want that. And there you go. And as you see, they join all 12 of the souls. Become one. Right there. Now Dahlia is no more. True soul of Nadalia is now acquired. And we're done with that. The only thing left to do is to go here. Majula. And uh I guess level up a little bit. There until put all our points into faith. Now, I can make this even easier than it is, not that it makes much difference. Pop every single soul in my inventory. I'm not gonna do that. I held on to all the great souls and all the dark souls for a reason. I kinda wanna see if they make a note of that or even mention it. That it's in my inventory. Because at all at this point you could just pop all those souls. Max out the hell out of your level. Yeah. I'm not doing that. Okay. Let's go to the final boss fights and Finally put an end to our Dark Soul. Holy yes, man. Glad we were finally able to. It only took me getting better armor. Increasing my defense by... 100. Fight him. Also, we don't need this before. We can go ahead and switch. That, that's fine, that's fine, that's all fine. Alright, we're good. Up and up. Ah. I'm happy and sad at the same time. <laughs> happy to finally be beating this game, finishing it. For the third time. <laughs> but I'm also kind of sad because it's such a great game. It's so much fun. Salty, but that feeling of accomplishment at the end of all the salt is—I hate Sir Olive, Ash, bosses that. But that feeling of eating him. Helps. <laughs> Now, one thing I'm going to mention is Sir Alan, yes, it did get easier because I had better armor. That's the case with a lot of bosses that you fight. However, you noticed he also didn't attack me as aggressively as he did before. I guess we just got lucky on the RMG. He didn't go into full blown attack, 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 like he did all the. That is the queen's true form. 
you have proven yourself to me. She's dark resistant. Eh, I guess that kind of makes sense. He is. The funny thing is the king's crown actually negates this thing. Or will we actually have another item that we can use to negate her little effect? Those little things that she created, they're like curse things. If you stand in them, you're gonna get hit with the curse. It's actually playing very, very like passive. Because she usually does come at you with the sight. Doing any of that though. Fine by me, I'll just do this. Done. Are you repositioning yourself? Okay, that's nice. Perfectly fine. You want to you want to play this game? I, I'll play this game all day. <laughs> Pretty sure I'll outlast you. That hit me. That freaking hit me. I feel like I just got dropped. Come in with your sight. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't do that sooner. Like, what were you waiting for, late? Eh, first try. These bosses are jokes after Sir Alan. <laughs> she is literally a joke after dealing with Sir Alan. Now, don't get me wrong, she hits hard. She can kill anyone. Many monarchs have come and gone. One drowned in poison, another was chunked into flame. Still another slumbers in the realm of ice. Not one of them stood here. As you do now. You, conqueror of adversities. It was your answer. music awesome oh good now he talked about one that's come to poison and another who drowned in flame he's talking about the old iron king about the flame drowned himself in fire damn he's even more dark resistant now chat probably been aware that he was gonna blast me in the face with that some reason I wasn't. <laughs> and the one they talked about drowning in poison, talking about the sunken you know, with uh, the dragon spit. Actually, now that I think about it, I'll be a uh, all the attacks pretty slow. We could probably use our other spells on him. Instead of using the orb, which doesn't do much. It also might be a good idea to try some magic. See what magic does to him. Do you have a magic? He's really resistant. Holy cow, I can't believe we're doing 250. 
There has been no boss in the base game that we've done to. He's a first. It's a definite first. For the most part, I think we okay. It's gonna be too One of the hardest parts about him fire. The pyromancy. I think we can avoid all that. Slightly better, I think. Not by a lot. Jeez, okay. Uh, I didn't realize that that was gonna home after me. I wanna just probably do rolls against that instead of like trying to run to the side. That might be the better idea to dodge that. This might take a try or two. I'm trying to remember his moveset. Completely forgot it. He's actually not that difficult. If you're melee though, it could be a little difficult. The one thing that we're not dealing with, you guys notice, is getting close to him. Because the fire that comes around him, that actually does damage to him. That does a lot of damage. <laughs> that fire around his body does so much damage to you, it's kind of crazy. So if you're melee against them, it really becomes a more difficult fight if you want to try and dodge him and get close to hit him. And then when his flames come up, you want to get away from him as fast as possible. A, he's, he's more like anti-melee than he is age, I would say. You've got to learn his moves that he dodged. I mean, I'm saying that, of course, he has a stupid amount of dark, but... I mean, in the sense that going near him... Kind of more of a problem than probably sitting from far behind shooting at him. Man, there's three NPCs coming here. That'll make the fight a hundred times easier. But we're not gonna do that. In fact, I think the NPCs die really easy. Because of that fire. Oh shoot. This is bad. What the hell out of you? Ah, the fire makes him more resistant. Nope. Nope. Okay. Dodge. We dodge. Now, the fire actually makes him more resistant to the magic. I forgot that he does that. Okay. Oh god! I didn't know there was two waves of this. Holy cow, okay. Somehow survive. Probably should have got a hit or two in. I probably should have got a hit or two in. Okay. 
Okay. That was garbage. Okay. Oh my god. I... Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe we freaking fell off the ledge. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was trying to get far away from him so I could see it coming and dodge it. And I ended up falling off the ledge. Okay. 384 deaths. Let's make that the final death. <laughs> Let's make that the last time we die. Also, I, I'm being scared to go near him with the great sword. Oh, but I think I'm gonna try to at least pop one off. After we run out of dark hails, of course. I'm also gonna start using my spells only when his fire is down. Fires up, it's significantly less. That being said, I wonder if fire weapons are a big no no against it. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. He just did two attacks, one after the other. Like, what the hell was that? Aldia, what, what, what was that, man? You're not supposed to do that.
god. I can't believe I'm actually doing this more than once with him. I swear to you, the first two times I fought him, my first two playthroughs, I literally first, second try. I guess I take it back. Mage run is worse against him. And it's so much easier to go melee against him for some reason. I guess it comes down to the damage. I, I guess it just really comes down to it, because with damage you can do so much more damage than the melee weapon. there. I shouldn't have turned around on me like that. I really think Dark Orbs would just probably be better here. They can attack faster. Hmm. Maybe not. Holy cow, man. What, what is with that? That's the second time he did that. That's kind of cheap. Woo! There we go. And we beat it. He's done. Eins Al Ghul is the greatest sorcerer there is. <laughs>
Light, dark? Or something else entirely? So, we have two options in this ending. Really quick, let's do some lore. We both know that there's a cycle. Kindle the flame, or not rekindle the flame. That's the cycle. Lift the curse by rekindling the flame, or don't lift the curse and let the undead continue on dying, and then become hollow. That has been a continuous repeated cycle for kingdoms and kingdoms and kingdoms. Benric and Alvia here studied the first sin, was when Gwen plunged himself into the first flame to start this cycle, to make this what it, this curse what it is. In their research and their attempts to try to break the curse, they failed. The Benric never kindled the flame. He tried to seek a different way to break the curse. He gave us a crown, blessed our crown, and the crown lifts the curse. So in a sense, he succeeded on a tiny scale. He wasn't able to completely lift the curse, but he was able to make someone immune to the curse. So, when you play this game, with the, with this this version at least, you know, Scholar of the First Sin, and you beat this boss, you're given an alternate ending. If you take that and you go to the throne, you're continuing the cycle. Whether you give yourself to the flame, which is in there, or don't give yourself to the flame, doesn't really let you choose that here, like in the first game. You're continuing the cycle. So if you go to the throne, you're continuing the cycle that has been. But in this game, you're given another option where you walk away entirely a, a different path. Seek to break the curse, just like Venric did, and be given, having been given the crown from Venric, we're the only ones immune to the curse that can just continue on living a normal life while everyone else is in the curse, is stuck with the curse. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the Skull of the First Sin ending here. We go and seeking something entirely different. We continue our path looking. A way to lift the curse. There is no path. Beyond the same line, beyond the reach of God. Those words he used are very, very key. There is no path. The sense, the path has always been, get to the first flame, let the age of dark continue to start, curse become. It is, or kindle the flame, lift the curse until the flame fades again and cycle. We chose the other path, to go on a journey. And there is no path. There's no direct path to this. Speak. No one has accomplished. Don't meet the unknown. That amazing ending. Ah, what a journey, man. No joke, I think we hit 60 hours <laughs> in this Dark Souls 2 run. I think we hit 60 hours. And 385 deaths. Now I know that's a lot more than the first game, but this is a whole lot more game number. First game we finished at 40 hours. Better mind. A little over 40. This game, I think we hit 60, if not over. Which is actually an improvement, I will say that. The first, my first playthrough of this game, I did it in 80 hours. So, 
uh, I think this is an improvement. I think I did significantly better this time. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the most satisfying music. I don't know if it's because the game <laughs> was such a- it was so much hell to get through, or if it's really just that good of a song. I'd have to listen to my car on a random day, because <laughs> that music is just so good right now. So soothing after everything we just went through. Okay, so final thoughts. Amazing game, man. It's an amazing game. But these DLC made me rage a lot, and I discovered something about the DLCs, and I'm glad I did this playthrough. Now I can give a real in-depth opinion. The game is awesome. The game is phenomenal. The thing, one of the greatest things about Dark Souls is what we are doing. We are doing custom builds on... An anime character or you could do on custom builds on anything you want you can get as crazy as you want with it there's no real way to play the game you know play it however you want whatever kind of weapon style or thing you want to do with armor and something like it's that great it's an amazing game for a reason the lore is phenomenal of course if you're gonna try to discover the lore by yourself you might not care too much about the lore because it's going to take you forever to pick up all the lore. You have to literally pick up, which I didn't really do on my playthroughs just to save time. Let's pick up the weapons and read the items. That's where all the lore is in the item list. As well as what the NPCs say and people together. You're better off if you want in-depth lore is actually just Googling it. There are databases that have like theories, all that stuff, all written down already for you. Or even just watch YouTube. Or come watch my stream. <laughs> I'm trying to give as much as I can. Of course, Dark Souls 3 will be completely blind, so I won't have any lore there. Um, so the lore is actually amazing. It's actually amazing, uh, even though the way that they give it to you requires more work. But the lore is amazing. The gameplay is amazing. Customization is And I am truly mean by like customization as far as play style. And, and as well as how much you customize your character. I don't mean an appearance as far as like faces and stuff like that. Abilities and so on. It's awesome. I will say this though. If you like playing a mage, you're not going to have a problem with the base game. Get to the DLCs, you are going to be an absolute help. DLCs are brutal on mages. Every single DLC, the mobs literally cut your damage in half and that's a huge problem because magic in this game scales to about 800 850 that was the strongest dark magic staff we could possibly have and we went as high as we possibly could with both damage enhancing rings and we only got it up to 850 on a melee weapon you can take that as high as a thousand correct me if i'm wrong karen uh or anybody who's in fact I believe you can take it even as high as a thousand, if not more, which makes a huge difference on your damage. Fight those bosses. Because those bosses all damage comes like half of what. And I'm telling you right now, when I did melee runs, I had a significantly easier time with all these bosses, with the exception of Sir Allen. Sir Allen was just a complete nightmare to fight because of how quickly he attacks, and we got super lucky on our last fight with him because he actually took his time and there was plenty of time for me to heal if you guys know that didn't happen on the other fights that we did he was attacking us right through our heals that time he didn't do it not even once which was amazing Impressed. not to mention we never got his buff phase he never went into his phase where he stabs himself and empowers his damage he never did that to us not even once so we got super lucky with sprawling don't let that Fool you. Um, so my advice, if you're gonna play this for the first time ever, watch a walkthrough. 
Here's a walkthrough. No, don't don't go blind. You're gonna hate. This is gonna be absolute hell for you. Here's a walkthrough. And if you want to do a fun little build like I did, start off easy. Do a mage run or learn some spells to help you with some of these bosses. But make sure that you have a very good melee weapon. Because or else the DLCs and everything, I'm just gonna destroy you. And uh yeah. My final thoughts, man. Uh, if you haven't played a Dark Souls game, I would say play the first one first. Not that you really have to play the first one in terms of like lore and stuff like that. Like I said, you could just read it. This isn't really like a story type of game where like you have to play the first one before you play the sequel to get the full story. It's not really like that, although there's some interesting lore stuff. But like I said, you could just read up on that and you'll be fine. But the main reason I would say play the first one first is because the first one was significantly easier than this one. And I honestly mean that. I found the first game to be much easier than this game. And I don't mean that just because I have 385 deaths. I really had an easier time killing all those mobs and everything. Okay. These mobs and these bosses were significantly harder. Most of them. Kinda has me a little scared for Dark Souls 3. <laughs> Those are probably gonna be tougher too. Hey, we'll be trying to see if we can do less than 385. Or for what we did on Dark Souls 1 was what, like 275? Or less? Oh, we never did that. Oh, well. That's the one thing we never did. We never went back to the Pharaoh's uh, door place and unlocked all that stuff. Didn't really need it. A lot of it's just like whatever. No, like, special real weapons or anything there. Random loot. Oh, and we also never went back to get uh, our silkies, which also don't matter at this point. We had everything we needed. That's all good. That's fine. I'm okay. <laughs> now. We are done with this game. Done. I think I need to go get me a massage and and maybe herbal. Find some stress balls. What else? 